The first step when upgrading the processor in the Lenovo N200, or any laptop for that matter, is finding a CPU that's compatible. Just because it fits the socket doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work. Service guides and discussion boards are great places to find this type of information. In my case, the T9300 Core 2 Duo was a great value because it was confirmed as compatible with the computer and offered significantly better clock speed, faster front side bus speed, more cache, and more features than the T2390 Pentium that was already in there. Now, on to the upgrade itself. In the N200, the CPU upgrade process is refreshingly simple and straightforward. The tools you'll need are a small Phillips screwdriver, preferably magnetic, small flathead screwdriver, and if you're going to be replacing the thermal paste, which I did because mine was pretty dried out, you want to have some thermal paste, a thermal paste rag, and some goo gone. To get started, flip the laptop over and undo those two screws that are holding the cover down over the CPU. Continue by removing that fan connector and then the three screws that are holding the cooling fan down. Once you're done, that thing will just lift straight out. From here, you might notice a significant buildup of dust on the heat sink. That surprised me quite a bit too, to see that there, so that's definitely something I'm going to be cleaning out today. Next, we'll take out those four screws holding down the cooler assembly over the processor. Before we can pull that thing out, we will need to disconnect this wide connector over here. To remove the cooler assembly, simply slide and lift. Now you can get to the processor. This is where your flathead screwdriver comes into play. You'll simply want to rotate that screw a full half a turn to the left to release the processor, after which you can remove it. We simply need to perform this procedure in reverse to install the new CPU. This is the point at which you're going to want to decide if you're going to be putting on new thermal paste or not. I opted to do just that because not only did the new processor not come with any thermal paste on it, the thermal paste that was left over on the heat sink was pretty crusty and dried out. So I just went ahead and used the Goo Gone and the thermal paste rag to clean that off. From here I just applied a small dolop of thermal paste to the new processor and installed the cooler back on in the same way that I removed it. Now all that's left to do is the reconnection of that wide connector that we unplugged earlier, the replacement of the fan, and the replacement of the cover. And that's all there is to upgrading the processor in the Lenovo N200.